Hi, I'm going to show you how to build a Cocoa Ruby application using Xcode 3.0. So you start by launching Xcode, then you start a new project, and under the application you can see there is a Cocoa Ruby application. Just select it, name your application, and you get a new project. Under the classes, you create a new class, and the type of the class is Ruby NS object subclass. Give it any name and you're ready to start coding. Just include the OS 10 primitives, define an outlet for a text field, and let's define an action for a button. Let's say something. And what this action will do is just call a function called say with the value of the text field. The action itself is pretty simple. All you have to do is give it a string and we'll just write the output to the debugging window. And this is it for the, for the Ruby code. Let's just save it and now let's edit the UI. For that, we go back to our project and open the main menu.nib. Just open the window, resize it any way you want it. Now let's add some controls. So for starters, we'll have an input. And we can take advantage of Xcode's guides to make this pretty. And we'll add a button. To make it even better looking, we can go here and decide how the resizing of the window will affect the control. So I'm just gonna, going to attach the controls to the proper places and resizing should be handled properly. And we'll give it some smart name to the button. This is it for the interface. Now we need to add our class to the, to the interface. So we'll just go to the objects and controllers. We'll add an object to our application and we'll use our hello world class. Now we can associate the outlet and the actions with the things we've created. So we, we attach the text field to the text field we created and the say something action to the say button. And this is it. Now we can run your application and if all went well, we should, ha we should have a nice window that resizes properly when we type in something and click the save button, it appears. Of course, I'm not seeing anything because I don't have the debugging window, but let's just uh, show the console and you can see here the hello I just typed in. So if I type in hello world and click the save button, that's what shows up. Now, if our application would really be able to speak, now that would be great, wouldn't it? So let's make it do so. First we select a voice from the speech synthesizer and we'll just use the default voice. Next we create the synthesizer using that voice, so we'll just use it. Okay. voice and we'll just give it the voice we just chose and then we just say to this instance it starts speaking with string and for a string we'll just use the one we read from the text field value. So now if you press build and go, type in anything, your computer will do the speaking for you. Hello world. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.